Hi, welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Steven. My name is Steven. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So the last few days have been rough for me. I've been very tired and even though I didn't realize at first, very stressed out. Uh, to the point where for a good solid 36 hours or so, I maybe more, I'd hear my heart beat in my ear like a tss. And it was absolutely excruciating. And so I've been recording videos every day for the last three days. So today is Thursday afternoon and I am feeling very tired and a bit stressed out still. Uh, starting Tuesday, I was hearing uh, essentially my heartbeat in my ear, like a little tss, tss, and that was absolutely excruciating. And that really wore me out. And on top of being stressed out, just hearing a repetitive sound is painful, especially when I was trying to sleep at night. And so again, I started Tuesday and morning actually, Tuesday morning. And right now it's Thursday afternoon and I'm still feeling some of the effects from that. And so I'm gonna show you a few clips that I took starting Tuesday. And then of course yesterday, Wednesday, and today I recorded as well. Hi. Welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Steven. My name is Steven, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, I'm not feeling very well right now. Uh, I think it's stress, and I'm gonna talk a little about that. So, for the last few days I've been feeling a little off, and really tired. Uh, today I woke up exhausted, even though I got about 12 hours of sleep. I've been sleeping down here in this room, TV room, I can't really see, but, uh, cause it's been so hot. For me, I don't dwell in the heat anyway. Um, so I've been down here, but I didn't realize I was stressed, actually. And that's kind of how it works for me sometimes, you know, if I'll be really, really stressed, I don't always realize I am. Now, for the majority of the day, I've been hearing, uh, like a tss, 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 tss sound in my ears. And I realized, oh, well, that's my heartbeat. <laughs> that's not great. That's really annoying. I didn't think much of it. And I was going to go and actually record another video today. I was going to do a walk and talk video today. And my dad's like, yeah, you're kind of tired. Your eye looks a little bloodshot. Not sure if it does now still, but... So he said, I won't do that today. And maybe about 40 minutes ago, I went and I switched to my mom. You know, uh, I'm hearing this, my heartbeat in my ear. She's like, oh, that's stress. And I was like, oh, really? I didn't realize I was stressed. Uh, so I took a uh, propranolol, so some medication to help relax me a little, and that's helping. I also just took a shower and that helped uh, relax me a little as well. Um, I don't know, it's, it's weird sometimes, because I don't always realize I am stressed when I am. Sometimes when I'm the most stressed, I don't realize I am, until I mention it to my parents. Yeah, um, I just want to make a little video of talking about that. Also, I want to mention that, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not angry, I'm not upset. I don't feel stressed out in that sense. Uh, it's only, I guess, like the symptoms of that without the emotions. Because I'm definitely not angry and I didn't realize I was stressed. That's all I am. So it's a little past 5 p.m. as I'm recording this and I got 12 hours of sleep last night. Um, so from around Maybe it was more than 12. I believe I went to bed around maybe 9.30, 10, the latest. I don't remember exactly now. Um, and I woke up at a little before 11, which is actually normal for me. I get about 12 hours of sleep every day, if not even more. And I still woke up tired. <laughs> so I just want to let you know about my sleep schedule too. Hi. Welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Steven. My name is Steven. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So it's the next morning now, and uh, last night I didn't get much sleep. Again, hearing that, <laughs> that little tss, tss, tss sound in my ear, and I'm still here right now, it was really affecting my sleep. It was really annoying hearing the same sound repeatedly every time my heart beats. Um, yeah. I don't feel stressed out really, but I guess I still am. 
and like I was saying like yesterday, um, I didn't fully realize I was stressed out until now. But really right now I just feel tired. <laughs> Very tired. I was going to sleep downstairs like it happened, but I decided to sleep upstairs on my bed. Even though it was a little warmer, because then it's then a nicer bed. I think that helped a little. And I had to listen to music for a while. Not to fall asleep, because I couldn't, but just to get some rest and drown out the noise of my heartbeat in my ear. Um, so I just woke up like an hour or so ago, and it's about 12 o'clock right now, a little after. Um, you can see I'm very tired, but, well, I'll keep you posted as this continues, so, that's all I gotta say for now. Hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Alright, so it is day three of me feeling not, <laughs> not good. Um, I went to bed around 10 o'clock last night. Um, as you can tell, I'm still exhausted. I got a horrible night's sleep. Um, didn't really sleep much at all. I overheated multiple times. Uh, I think part of the side effect of some of the medicine I take is drooling. And I had to use three pillows. It was really, really bad. Um, yeah, I'm still not feeling great today. I don't hear my heartbeat in my ear at least anymore. So that is gone. Uh, it's just left me really exhausted and tired. And so I took uh, my meds at my usual time, 8.30 at night. And I took a Repranol, 10 milligrams of Repranol, also before I went to bed. I'm sure that helped, actually, a lot. Because it helps lower my heart rate and improves my blood flow. Which I believe also helped, uh, you know, get rid of the, the, um, the noise in my ear and my heart. And so yeah, for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna relax, um, take it easy. Uh, maybe I'll go to bed earlier if I can. And hopefully in a few days, I will be feeling better. I really just need to get a few good nights of sleep. And then I think I'll be better. So for heavy stress, anxiety, and panic, I take 0.5 milligrams of Ativan, which helps take the edge off very quickly actually, like 15 to 30 minutes or so, and I'm feeling calmer and less anxious and stressed out. And then for general anxiety and stress, I can take at a time 10 milligrams of propanol, which helps lower my heart rate and kind of manage that a little better. So my heart rate's not incredibly high, which I tend to have high heart rate generally as well as uh, when I'm stressed out you know your heart rate goes up and so that helps with that as well and over the last three days I think I've taken about 60 milligrams so about 20 milligrams of that a day and that has helped a lot especially when I was hearing my heartbeat in my ear that really helped along with just calming me down as well and so in case you're wondering if I was actually just hallucinating um yes and no the heart rate and noise in my ear, I believe, was actually my heart rate, or my heartbeat, rather. However, um, especially that night when it was just continuously going on, I think my mind did start playing a trick on me a bit, where I would hear it even when I think it wasn't my heart rate. So when I was finally calming down, relaxing, and thought I was able to go to sleep, I would still hear it even when I knew it wasn't my heart rate. But then my heart rate would come, or my heartbeat rather, would come back, and I think it was a mixture of uh, both my mind playing tricks on me because I've been hearing the sound repeatedly for so long, and also just my heartbeat and my ear because I was stressed out. And so I called my psychiatrist, but she is out for I think another week as of right now, so I'm gonna have to make an appointment with her as soon as she gets back. However, of course, if it got to the point where it was an emergency, uh, I could have contacted another psychiatrist or gone to the hospital. And I would have had uh, I not taken that panel and the Ativan because, especially when I was trying to go to sleep that night, I really couldn't for a long time. I was listening to music, I had the medicine, and I knew if it got bad enough to the point where I was constantly hearing it to that point, I would have to go to the hospital. 
Um, luckily that didn't have to happen. But it was an option at least. If it did get that bad. So this started on Tuesday. Uh, last Tuesday. And I don't believe this has ever happened to me before. Um, not, not that I can remember at least. I mean, I've had headaches. I've had <laughs> tons of other stuff. But I don't believe I've ever had that like heartbeat sound in my ear for that long a period at least ever before in my life. I, I don't really know what that's about. Uh, I guess I was just stressed out and you know stress can manifest itself in many different ways. Even ways you don't expect. So I, I don't know. So yeah, summation. I'm feeling better now than I was the last two days ago even. And I, I don't know really what's going on, but I think I'll be better again soon. Um, just get some rest, try and relax. Uh, of course, if I don't feel better, uh, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely make another video on this in the future if I need to, if it's still going on. So I think that's all I got for now. I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day, though. And uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.